Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. It has been quite some time since we discussed about the development progress of Tejas MK1 fighters and have seen comments from many of our viewers regarding its update. There are few updates that has come since November last year and we will discuss in detail about all of them in today's video. As we know that Indian Air Force had ordered 40 Tejas MK1 variants in full and initial operational clearance configuration. It includes 32 Tejas MK1 single-seater fighter jet and 8 twin-seater LCA trainer. Out of 32 Tejas MK1, 22 fighters have already been delivered which includes 16 Tejas of IOC variant and 6 of FOC variant. As we have seen in last two years, there has been some delay in the delivery of Tejas due to COVID. In the year 2020, HL has delivered 6 FOC Tejas SP-21 to SP-26. The HL chief has promised for compensating the same by working overtime. We can observe the same from the current pace of development. If you remember our video from last year October, we have reported that SP-27 and SP-28 Tejas are undergoing flight testing and will soon deliver to Indian Air Force. The SP-29 and SP-30 are in final stages of production. The SP-31 to SP-34 Tejas are under the various stages of equipping activities. Now recently, the SP-34 has been spotted flying, which means that the development of 30 out of 32 Tejas MK1 has been completed by HAL. In fact, it has completed the production of 8 fighters in the last 4 months, which is an impressive rate of delivery. The remaining 2 Tejas of 32 can be expected into advanced stages of production which should be completed in a month. Then what would remain is 8 LCA trainer aircraft from the initial order of 40 Tejas. 10 more LCA trainers were ordered during Aero India 2021 as a part of 83 Tejas MK1 order which makes total number of trainers 218. It's important to note that all 18 trainer jets are going to be of FOC version. Once the production of remaining 2 of 32 Tejas MK1 is complete, which seems to be almost complete in a month or two, the production of Tejas MK1 trainer will commence. The 18 LCA trainers are planned to be delivered by the end of financial year 2023, which thus seems to be little challenging. The delivery of Tejas MK1A is supposed to start after 3 years of contract signing that is from February 2024 onwards. HL will have to deliver Indian Air Force the first 3 aircraft in 2024 and 16 aircraft per year for subsequent 5 years. As reported by HL's chairman, by June 2022, the LCA Mark 1A will take its first flight and another 20 to 24 months of testing which means the production of MK1A will commence in the first quarter of financial year 2024 which is as per the contractual obligation so there are no delays. The Tejas MK1A manufacturing and testing will progress in parallel to speed up the overall development and production process. Further, to ramp up the production, HAL has also set up two additional assembly lines and all three assembly lines are operational now. Now let's take this opportunity to quickly discuss uh, this MK2 progress. The preliminary design review PDR and critical design review CDR phase have been completed for this MK2. More than 60% of pre-flight test work has also been completed which includes the completion and finalization of cockpit configuration, sensors, antenna, process finalization for drawing, release, procurement of raw materials and its availability assessment, detailed design of various subsystem, finalization of SOPs for first flight. TS MK2 general systems and structures are now being manufactured and other components are in development process. HL has started building the prototype of this MK2 which is expected to get ready by late 2022 or early 2023 followed by its first flight between 2023 to 2024. As per HL chief, by 2026, all the testing on this MK2 will be complete and the production activity will start from there onwards. The year 2024 is going to be a pretty interesting one as we are going to see this MQ-1A 
entering into serial production. There's MK2, MK, and HL Cats Warrior, a loyal wingman, taking its first flight. In 2025, the TEDVF will also take its first flight. These two years are going to be pretty exciting for the Indian aviation industry. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.